Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 175. Doesn't matter. Ish. Oh well, yeah. our good friend Kenneth, what's his face, has decided to bless the... Kenneth Copeland? He's decided to yeah, cure... I mean, huge, huge fan. Everyone in our audience of the coronavirus, and I want us to listen to his little sermon here so we can all be cleansed of our sinful virus. In the name of Jesus! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. I execute judgment on you, <laughs> Satan, you destroyer, you killer, you get out, you break your power, you get off this nation. I demand judgment on you. I demand, I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. He's done this a few times now. This is only one of his many times he's defeated Corona. <laughs> I call Must be you very effective. Gone. Well, I feel better now. You come down from your In place of authority, <laughs> destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh, belly amen. like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head. In the Garden of Eden. Amen. Wow, the garden was you fucking were metal. Destroy <laughs> yeah. Through COVID 19. No more! <laughs> no more! No more! No more! It no more. is finished. finished. Come on, guys. Help us hype him up. Over. 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 And you just chose United one of his older States ones. This one was America. ineffective. His newer one is much better. <laughs> I'll cut it off there. Yeah, no, uh, I don't think any of them were very effective. That was beautiful. Then no, again, you'd be surprised. How many, yeah, you'd be surprised. Many countries this are now flattening the this curve. Is based, this reminds me of like the the, the WWE or something. Yeah. So much production value behind this shit. It's crazy. <laughs> There's no production value. Be what are you talking about? He's just what shouting at a well, camera. Yeah, he's got a television. I mean, a, he, a television he means station. That or whatever, there's so much he? character and showmanship behind his words. Well, he yeah. has, and he's on a set, yeah, right? He's a hype man, and no. they have organ music. What more do you need? Yeah, there was another guy there. That's a pretty fucking stellar production, in my opinion, for what he's dribbling on about. There was a guy in the background shouting. Yeah, as well. the hype man. I'm saying, you know, it's weird, man. It's kind of at some point when you start sounding like a Bioshock Infinite villain, maybe you should reassess. Yeah. But, you know, he's rich, so he lives, he lives a nice life. No skin of his nose. He's very rich. Oh, yeah. Last year, lest we forget, he was the one who apparently got caught flying private and... <laughs> there he is curing it again in the chat. Yeah, see, that's a set. That looks like a full-on, like, a, you know, TV station set. Yeah, oh, well, uh, yeah. There's a desk, there's chairs, yeah, well, there's a TV. Not... Yeah, but, I mean, if you're talking just about having a studio, that's not that expensive, I would He's imagine. He's even got a fucking prayer line. He's got his own <laughs> fucking telephone number. So do we. We can Where have can that. call up and pray. Oh, we should give out his number and have people call and just ask for a blessing for the official boys. <laughs> Oh, that'd be nice, actually. Yeah. Really? Well, if you would like to call Kenneth it. Copeland. If you would like to ask for a prayer for us, fellas, it's 877-281-6297. And ask Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth himself to bless the boys. Hashtag. Mm. So is Kenneth Copeland the most prolific, um, like, what do you call no. these guys? He healers? No. No, there's so many. Yeah, no. there's a lot. He's just, he's just a big one. But, like, but he's, he's the definitely. only one I've ever really heard about in the past few years. There's also yeah, Joel there was that whole jet thing. There's uh, also yeah, Joel actually, yeah, I heard that name. Yeah. I don't know any others myself either. Jim Baker, he's the one that did the silver solution to cure coronavirus. There's um Oh, I thought that was Kenneth also. Which one is the one who has no. diamond mines in Africa and uses slave labor to mine them? Uh I think that's Kenneth Copeland's fat friend. He's got like a really chunky friend, and I think that's his. That's his legal name. Yeah, Fat Man <laughs> McGee or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that's his company. He also name. has a private plane. He's they the one that do. told the story where he's like, "I rose out out of my seat to talk to God," and I, the pilots are like, "What are you doing?" I said, I'm, "I'm talking to God. That's why I need more private planes so I can be closer to God." Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's that guy. 
it's always amazing to see these people justify their lavish lifestyles. Not just that, but some of the scummier they do as well, such as, you know, running diamond mines in Africa. And it's always, well, because we need it for God. This is how we finance yeah. this operation. This is how we keep the church open is we need to we need to sell blood diamonds. <laughs> is that if that's God's method, I feel like you're praying to the wrong God. That doesn't sound right for him to just employ child labor so a bunch of fat white people can go to church and listen to organ music. I thought God was all about living modestly and loving thy neighbor. They exclude that part from the sermons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I want. I really wonder if the people who go to these shows, if they even know that these guys are rich, or if they really do see them oh, as the yeah. modest men. Think so? No, they're they're exactly subtle do. about it. Yeah, they absolutely do know they're rich, hundred percent. They just don't care. They think that's part of being close to God. Like they can be rich <laughs> too if they just worship God enough. Well, it's probably like human nature. You want to worship or, or like uh, pray with the person who looks the most successful because being successful is like, hey, God selected this guy. Yeah. That's yeah, a good th point. That's true. I guess you want your prophet. You know, you wouldn't follow some guy who looks like a hobo, I suppose, even though that... Would... Yeah, you want your prophet to wear Yeezys. <laughs> and be as rich and filthy. <laughs> Super charismatic yeah. and successful. Yeah, again, the Halo I mean, they're effect. just... Uh, they're just another breed of celebrity. I mean, think how many fans of like big musicians or artists or whatever still donate tons of money to them online or buy their stuff to support them when they're already making millions of dollars. It's the same phenomenon. But their stuff does genuinely nothing. They're just snake oils. Uh, it makes people. people feel better. Like, I'm not saying I agree <laughs> with or think what they're doing is go a good thing or a right thing. But at the end of the day, the people giving the money feel better from it or feel something from it. So... Yeah, but it's not exactly like, uh, I wouldn't say it's they get something out of it, though. It's not like they feel any better. I, it's more mm -hmm. like a self-serving thing. Like, they think that by giving that money, God's going to love them more. I'm pretty sure that's kind of the mindset they go in well, with. Yeah, like, but And then, Kenneth Copeland's the guy that was saying, even if you lose your job from coronavirus, you need to give to the church. Now's the most <laughs> important time to. Like, yeah. I don't think that makes anyone feel good. Well, it, it does. True. Speaking because of, they believe what he says and then they partake in it and then they mm, feel good for doing it. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Please give in this trying time. Now it's more <laughs> important than ever. Even if you lose your job, you don't have to eat every day if you think about it, right? <laughs> I, I would not advocate that advice during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I'd say obviously just, a joke. I'd say just do what the good man Kenneth Copeland's doing. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> well, he has to. Well, he's rich. Private. No, he's blowing. He literally blew the coronavirus away yesterday with the winds of God. I don't know why. He pl Kaya played an older clip. He's already beaten coronavirus again. Oh, again? Does anybody yeah. have the newer one that I could play for? Jeez, I don't want an out of date out of date prayer. Where's the update? Yeah, that yeah, one. How, 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 how frequently is he praying? Is this every day? Does it's he, like, does he have like a daily sermon? No, he beats he beats Corona like once a week. The newest one he used the winds of God. Before that, I think he used the flames of God, and then the uh, the one Kaya played was just like a healing one for the people. Tell you what, the other ones he's combated directly. Why don't Why don't evangelists evangelists use the more lesser known parts of God? Like why didn't he use the farts of God to smother the virus, or like the spit of God to drown it? It's always like the winds or the fire or the yeah, because it's not cool. Shit. Yeah, it's, it has it to be, be cool. Uh, blood and sweat and power and tears, not you know his fecal matter. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep on the winds of God though. It, it it did seem pretty powerful. Like even all the way over here, I was feeling something like washed through the air. Like you Kenneth know, I, Copeland is a sorcerer not to be trifled with. Unfortunately, I don't have it all set up right now with the audio routing. But I think next week we should. Uh, I should use a Skype number and call into that prayer line. And see what that sounds like. <laughs> what you think Kenneth's gonna pick up? <laughs> <laughs> I heard this was Kaya. I bet he's so intimidating over the phone. His voice is fucking oh, yeah. scary. He, he, he looks like he's murdered he quite looks, a few people. He oh, looks, yeah. sounds, and talks, and really, pretty much, just is a Bioshock Infinite villain. This is the guy you would expect at the very end to give you a lecture on. You know, we, we have to keep the people dumb or something. That's probably why there hasn't been a cure for coronavirus yet. God's intimidated of fucking Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> he doesn't want anything to do with him. 
It was like, oh my god. He's just waiting for someone else to ask. This is my emissary now? This is awful. Jesus was better. Yeah, interesting people. Well, Jesus was God's son. So as Kenneth Copeland, we've all been made in God's image. Jesus Jackson. Is that actually true? Yeah. yeah we yeah, all are. What are you talking about? It, yeah. In terms of the Bible, was, uh, are we all meant to be made in God's image? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So God looks like a hairy Turkish man. Uh, facts. <laughs> I always knew it. <laughs> to be fair, by the way, like most countries, not most, but a lot of them, especially in Europe now, are flattening the curve. And that just happened to coincide with Kenneth's lectures. So his sermons, you can't take the credit from him. It, there might be some metaphysical whoa, whoa, whoa. angels at work here keeping people uninfected. Now, are we flattening the curve realistically or are we just running out of tests or our government's not reporting accurate numbers? No, I think Germany is doing asking some. Kaya? He doesn't work for the WHO. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if you, well, who am I meant to ask right now? If you ask the WHO anything, they'll just drop down a suck G's ball sack again, as they always do. But to me, as far as I know now, Germany is doing somewhere between like 300 and 500,000 tests a week. So it's not that we're out of tests. And I think it's so far been okay. pretty much handled very well in Germany, but that's also because like 90% of our fucking income goes to the government and insurance. So we have a pretty robust system here. What I don't like is that now that they're talking about using apps to track people, I don't know if you guys saw, but the New York Times had an article today about they analyzed cell phone data to see how much people are still traveling. And my first thought was that why the fuck does the New York Times have access to cell phone data? What does that work? That doesn't sound good. Well, I guess just for emergencies like this, might as well give it to the experts. Oh, the, the experts. Old New York Times. Mm. So they can funnel it to Copeland so he can pray in the right way. <laughs> yeah, you know, just sell the data. <laughs> awesome. Copeland doesn't need data. He just needs wind. That's how he starts he, it, too. He literally summons wind. <laughs> it's cool. It's like a yu gi oh like is, is there a fan, like, uh, blowing wind from... from off camera or something? No, like, just, can you actually see the wind? No, just his mouth, man. He like opens it real wide and he goes, WIND! My favorite is when they do those elaborate hand gestures and movements and shit, and uh, then they push it into the crowd and the whole crowd of people falls over. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't that. have a crowd though. He is practicing social distancing from what I can see. So he's just summoning wind to sweep the nation. That wind is... that'll go through your digital screen. <laughs> I'm sure that is entirely self-interest, too. It's not that he cares about his audience, but he doesn't want to get himself sick. I don't know how old do he is. You but... think, hmm. Do you think it's improv, or do you think he goes out there with a script and he, like, practices and all that kind of stuff? It's hard it's, to say. His voice is so cool, and he's pretty articulate. I think he can just wing that shit, and it sounds pretty official. He's been it's at it so a long. Both. I'm sure at this yeah, point he, he can probably, just... It's a second nature. He probably knows what he wants to talk about, but not exactly what he's going to say. And he kind of just goes with the topic and sees what happens. Yeah, like... That's what I assume. Oh, I wish I could get him on the phone and just talk to him. Like, yes, yes, Mr. Kenneth, I, my, my prayer, yes. But first, can we have an interview? Would you come on the official podcast to defend yourself? A whole new young audience. Isn't that what he would want? It's like, the, you know, just thousands of young people listening to him being converted to what mega churchism. Ask him. We should, yeah. I'm actually surprised these people haven't figured out how to use Twitch and such yet to connect the nations online. You'd think even just the no one was watch. It's probably a Christian version of Twitch, I assume. Is there Christian? Well, there's, there's a Christ. Yeah, there's like a Christian version of Netflix. I know that <laughs> there is. No, there's not. No, there's yeah, not. there is. What is there? It? Absolutely is. What is? I can't remember the name of it. You're thinking of Butch uh, Hartman's failed Kickstarter? No, 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 no. This is something else. No. Hey, you guys keep talking, I'll find it. You, yeah, I'm telling you right now, you're thinking of Butch Hartman's failed scam. No. Oh, that I'm was the, the official name of it, too. Oh, well, the chat is telling idea. us that they already use YouTube, but I'd fuck, I wouldn't know. Pure flicks. Did you find it, Jackson? <laughs> huh? Did We're waiting on it? you. We're all waiting no. on you. No, no, it's... Well, while we're waiting... Wait long. While we're waiting, since we don't know how long it could take Jackson, maybe all of us should... Better protect our homes. And yeah, our no shit. Jesus Christ, hang on, I had a segue for that. Did you guys hear that they're now letting criminals out of prison because of the virus shit? Did you guys hear this? 
Any of you? <laughs> no. This is fucking what? insane. So, okay, we have a new advertiser, everyone. Simply safe. Spelt with an I, by the way. And before I get to that, apparently now in New York and some other places, they are now literally just releasing hardened criminals, not just people for drug offenses, but hardened criminals. The uh, Listen to this shit. Count, County Judge Sandra McLaughlin called it a get out of jail day, saying residents need to lock their doors. One of the people that they just released from prison was rearrested for murder. That's what happens Holy when you release fuck. random criminals from prison just because of what? Because you think they're going to get corona in prison and die? Who gives a fuck? Who cares? So because of the possibility that one inmate may die, you let him out and ensure that some victim actually dies, definitely dies. So this is what happens, okay? This is why you need to protect your home with Simply Safe. That's S I M P L I. S A F E dot com slash official. You need to spell that right to make sure. Simplysafe.com slash official. Like, this is easy to set up. The beauty of this is you call them, you don't have to wait, you order it rather. You don't have to wait for a technician to show up and infect you. It's just a kit you can install yourself. You have the know how, don't worry about it. It's not difficult. You can install it yourself. And then in under an hour, you can, uh, your house will be protected 24 7 with emergency dispatch for break-ins, fire, and more, which you need. As the county sheriff there, right, you heard it, lock your doors. Well, you can do one better with simplysafe.com slash official and secure your home. And now you might be thinking, well, Kaya, we're all locked up inside anyway. It's not like anyone's going to break into my home uh, while I'm inside. Well, maybe true, but you can't be alert at all times. You're going to be in the, sh in the shower, right? You're going to be sleeping at some point, and you want to have that little head start from when somebody breaks through your window or is fiddling on your front door. You want to have that little help. Plus, you also don't want your house to burn down. That sort of stuff happens if you don't have fire alarms. And all of that you can get for just 50 cents a day, which is cheaper than death. I promise you. Simplysafe.com slash official. If you go there now, you get free shipping and a 60-day free trial. A uh, risk-free trial, rather. So that's simplysafe.com slash official, S-I-M-P-L-I, safe.com slash official. Keep yourself safe because I promise you, law enforcement, they're going to make it difficult even if they feel like keeping you safe that day. If they're apparently not busy releasing criminals and saying that they're no longer going to be arresting criminals. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but... I, d I think it was in New York where they now said that the police is going to stop arresting people for crimes like bodily harm and theft. Beautiful. Amazing. This is, makes sense. Yeah. Simplysafe.com slash official. Keep yourself safe. Jesus From Christ. From Simply Safe and all of us here at the official podcast, we are wishing you safety and good health. Is is that if, I, I looked up the prison thing? So you're right on the money. They're they're literally doing this like YouTube automated system. They're choosing which prisoners to release based on an algorithm. So they've released thirty five, or they plan to release thirty five hundred inmates early in California. I didn't see which one reoffended. That I didn't find that. No, but this um, is fucking wild. Hang on. Are they released into the the wild, or yeah. do they go to like a halfway home? No, they just go, they just go out. No, they, they just literally released. just got released onto the streets. They just told yeah. them, "Okay, go." Uh, McLaughlin's concerns were echoed by officers who reached out upon learning one man, Jacob Burnett, who was released from state custody after serving two weeks of a two-year sentence, was rearrested in Louisville on a murder charge. Da, da. You can't... There's a reason we have prisons. <laughs> these people are supposed to be keeping people as safe, the police. Meanwhile, in the UK, you have these schmucks now in the Derbyshire Police Department, or whatever the fuck it is with their goofy names. They're now using drones Derby to shame Shire. people... To shame people into staying home. Did you guys see that video? Where they're like... From a bird's yeah. eye view, <laughs> they were filming people just walking in the park, walking with their dogs miles away from any other form of life, not infecting anyone. Just a dude walking in the park, filming him and shaming him for going on a non-essential walk. Okay, so who the fuck gave you that authority? What are you doing? What is this, big brother now? You're gonna, you're looking at it from a bird's eye view to like your god or something. You're trying to shame people for going out of their homes. 
Jesus Christ, man. So this is what we were talking well, about just two days what, ago. People on are our... meant to be staying inside, though. Yeah, I think people should totally be shamed right now if get, they're getting in. No, don't be a piece of shit. No, getting close to. You should be shamed if you go to a fucking beach party and you're just drinking wine off of each other's assholes. One guy walking his dog all alone in a park is not a danger to anyone. That's what I was going to say. Who knows where that dog's been? That's what I was going to say. You should be shamed if you're congregating or going to places where yeah. there's a bunch of other people. Yes, yes I think you should true. be shamed in that context. Yeah. But they weren't. I don't, I don't think it's a... Uh, this police yeah, just... I don't... Go ahead. <laughs> they just set up a drone to fly over a fucking national park where there's like maybe one person per square mile. And they, ju they just squared in on that one person. And on the video, the text labels that they put was like, this man left his house to watch the sunset. Not essential. And then their fucking social media account got triggered because everybody, they ratioed the shit out of that video on the tweet. So whoever is handling their social media got really upset and started debating with people in the comments and just made this 10 tweet reply about how we know that some of you may not like this, but that's too bad because we're going to keep shaming you. Douchebags. Mm. Well, that is the state of the world at the moment, Kyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pieces of shit. Um, it Did you see the 5G coronavirus has gotten so big YouTube has to silence it to stop people from burning the towers in the UK? <laughs> so, so give me, Wait, give, me a, uh, give me a towers. slow, hang on, give me uh, a, give me a slight recap on that because that's the episode I missed, but I've only heard whispers. What's with the 5G coronavirus thing? They oh think this is really spreading. Do you want to know, Andrew? I, I <laughs> talked to my friend in Turkey just today, just an hour ago, and he said that his dad is now walking around in the home repeating the stupid fucking um, conspiracy because he saw it on Facebook. It's, so, Andrew, what they're saying is that 5G was first rolled out in Wuhan just around the time this whole epidemic started of people getting sick, and their theory is that it's the 5G airwaves or radiation or something that's actually making people sick <laughs> because the symptoms of the virus, of the so-called virus, as they say, uh, they mimic radiation sickness. So they say, well, it makes sense. They tried it in Wuhan, and now it's spreading because they're rolling out 5G or something. Why the fuck would they start in Wuhan of all cities they, to start with 5G? They, it's a really huge stretch. There's always been that fear of cell phones. They had this, I don't know if you guys remember this, and I completely forgot. They had this exact same fear when 4G got rolled out, by the way. But after, yeah. th that was back before Twitter do. and Facebook was... Yeah, they it's, it's just that, technology yeah. in general. New technology, technology every scares people. people. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking pathetic stuff, but it Man. is a huge movement right now. Absolutely massive. God. Among who, though? I mean, is it in the Middle uh, East? Clearly, they people. believe it. No, How many it, in normal America? people. Huh. Tons. On Twitter, it, like, if a 5G thread gets passed around, it's got like 10K upvotes, uh, a ton of comments. All of the 5G conspiracy fucking lunatics on YouTube, tons of views, millions of views talking about the truth of coronavirus, celebrating the burning of the towers. It's absolutely <laughs> wild this is the worst time for it too because with all the people quarantined inside they're just going to be feeding yep. off of this garbage and making it worse and worse oh and it's worse. crazy yeah, yeah 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 it's wild stuff man there's so many holes in it like the two that i immediately pointed out <laughs> was if it was 5g then israel would have no cases of coronavirus because israel doesn't have 5g there's quite a few places that have banned 5g just over financial concerns and just long term so Israel doesn't have any 5G, but they have so many cases. They have like almost 10K cases now, 40 dead. And there's no answer from the community there. And they, they all say coronavirus is fake and it's just radiation sickness. Yeah. But that can't be right either because it's existed in the U.S. since 2019. And if it was radiation sickness, it wouldn't be contagious because you can't spread radiation sickness like that. So I think you can kind there's of no if it's radiation. Only if yeah. it's only nope. radiation radiation sickness does it is spreadable. Nope, you're speaking right out of your ass, Jackson. You watched Chernobyl <laughs> one time. <laughs> oh no. I looked it up. You you cannot spread radiation sickness unless you're taking like your irradiated clothes and shoving them down someone's throat. And even then that's well, not that's 100%. Well, that's still spreadable then. Yeah. That's still so you can contaminate somebody. Not by somebody. just going into only in the most extreme unrealistic circumstance. So you can. Okay, why are you discrediting the yeah, whole conspiracy? So <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Radiation sickness can spread, yes or no? 
<laughs> Charlie, they've got a point. I think I'm on their side now. We need to get rid of 5G. <laughs> You're the reason these things spread. <laughs> This is awesome. Well, well you're see, being unreasonable. If that yeah, was you, true, you though, enjoy why? your faster phone service. I'll enjoy living. All right. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck. So I guess now we're going to have. I really hate it when people stigmatize a certain type of technology like this, just like with. Um, yeah, if, you know, one one dumbass in Russia fucks shit up one state, and now all of us we have to pretend like nuclear energy isn't the safest and cleanest form of energy we have. For example, now you just know this shit might just stop five G from getting rolled out for another decade, because there's gonna be idiots taking down the towers. No, I I can't imagine that lasts too much longer. A lot of the people that believe that have been contracting coronavirus themselves. There's, I I don't <laughs> think that movement's gonna have too many legs to stand on. It's pretty funny. I mean, cause they they since they think it's radiation from the towers, they also think that it's not like transmittable the way it's been told. They feel like everything's a lie, so they're going out in groups and just getting sick. Well, I mean, get rid of their phones then. Remember, in China, just this yeah. year, 21 million, for some reason, 21 million people suddenly canceled their phone contracts. Coincidence? I think not. In the last two months, I should say. Yeah, Charlie, there's all kind of holes in your argument against this. Pretty much You're, airtight I could, theory. I could be wrong, yeah, maybe it is 5G. But all the experts agree. <laughs> Me. <laughs> My training I got yeah. from Chernobyl, the TV show. <laughs> that didn't even have anything to do with 5G. With radiation. Yeah, the untrained eye, it had nothing to do with 5G. Yeah, so how do you know? Yeah, let's, let's revisit past cataclysms and stuff and, and <laughs> assign it to 5G. Yeah, JFK was assassinated by 5G. They're way, they're way <laughs> ahead of you. There's a Microsoft uh, Word document they're passing around as a fact. They've correlated every major flu outbreak with something regarding cell phones. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. you remember the Spanish flu of 1918? <laughs> Did you happen to know that at the same year they had first test out a mobile device? Mm. I don't think that's a coincidence. Whoa! No, I think that one was because of they first started using radio broadcasting. <laughs> Nope. I'm not it sure. was mobile tower. Uh, it was you're, a mobile you're tell, tower. You're telling me you're telling me that one mobile tower test killed more people than World War II. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You just read a word document, Andrew. Uh, I'm yeah. very sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know it was this serious. I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't get your information Nobody from did, Facebook except memes. <laughs> yeah, except for the true intellectuals with fucking shit-stained underwears living in the fucking dark. Those are the real ones we must follow. It's <sighs> <Damn. laughs> the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Well, I mean, like we we talk about a lot of stupid shit on this show, but goddamn, is that stupid? <laughs> this is not only stupid, Andrew, it's also fucking huge. It's like pathetically stupid because it's becoming a widely accepted belief. Well, I hope not too I widely. Get over that do you one. think do you think there's more if of so them? So many now? people didn't accept it, it wouldn't be true. Do you th <laughs> Do you think there's more of them now or anti-vaxxers currently? More of them. Hands down. Really? You guys are, I really don't think you understand just how many people believe it's 5G. Well, this is why it's spreading, Charlie. You just look down on everyone. You had the <laughs> opportunity to convince me and Kaya, but now you've ruined it. Now it's definitely 5G, because you weren't nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> 5G's turning you into an asshole. I saw some of those maps, it might though, is... cause radiation sickness. You know, where they, they correlate, like, the... Um, the towers of where the 5G towers are and the population dense, uh, sorry, and uh, the number of outbreaks in the area. And like, oh, look, if you look at this, it's one to one. Yeah, it's probably because there's a dense population where they're setting up 5G towers. Mm -hmm. That's probably the reason why yeah. <laughs> they don't set up 5G towers in the middle of bumfuck nowhere in some village with 50 people. They put them in major cities with uh, lots of populations. Correlation, Facebook not causation. Yeah. It's yeah, not well, Facebook. This is mainly Twitter, to be honest. Like, that's where I see the majority of it. And it's not all old are people. Are you really on Facebook? Facebook? Yeah, I don't think you are. Eh, yeah. I guess that's a fair None point. of us are. Facebook is a fucking realm that I've just... I don't even know what it is. I've never... I don't think I've used it in the last t 10 it's, years yet. Uh, Everything just comes out of it. All this theories. It's now a... Uh, 
Facebook has become a virtual retirement home. It's now where old people <laughs> really go is. online to uh, die. That's what I was going to say. It's definitely not just Twitter because my mum has messaged me about the whole 5G thing and asked me to confirm or deny it like I was <laughs> some kind of mastermind behind it. The uh, only, uh, she's asking me. And she's, she's only on Facebook, so it's Facebook. The only people Facebook I ever see using kind of Facebook stuff. now for anything beyond, oh, I check it once a month, are old people who just want to reconnect with people that they knew in the past or mm-hmm. check on like old photos and shit. That's it. Facebook is now primarily just old people. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook is, is just messenger now to me. Yeah, I use it to message my mom who is old. So con- confirmed. You know, there you go. Yeah. I use it to message my mom every once in a while. I also go on there like once a year to look at my ex to see what she's up to. <laughs> you know how we just get curious like what the fuck is she doing now? That's it. And that's Facebook to me. Oh, God damn it, man. Stay inside, people, and watch some Netflix. Watch uh, HBO you want to get, Chernobyl. Educate yeah, if yourself. If you want to get more access to more Netflix shows, you can try ExpressVPN to change your location to get more cool shit from other places. That is true. You can tell them about it, Andrew. That is totally true. We were talking earlier about protecting your physical belongings with Simply Safe, but now we're going to talk about your digital belongings, such as maybe your privacy or your security online. Mm-hmm. You can use ExpressVPN to do that, as well as another little handy bonus, change your region to watch other, well, you know, streaming services, Netflix, Hulu's, Amazon Prime videos, this and that. For example, if you wanted to binge watch the new Doctor Who series... You could watch it all on UK Netflix. I know there's a lot of people that are really into Doctor Who. If you love anime, which I'm going to I'm going to fathom a guess that a couple people listening to this podcast are super into anime. You can check out Japanese Netflix to watch many, many shows that aren't even released in the West. There's a ton of different possibilities and you can watch them all at ridiculously fast speeds because ExpressVPN will never provide you with any extra buffering or lag and will allow you to stream Mm -hmm. in HD with no problems whatsoever despite what region you choose. They have servers everywhere. Everywhere, literally. I think there's like 200 countries on Earth and they have servers in 150 of them or something. It's not going to be slow for you. Yep. And if you visit the special link right now, which is expressvpn.com slash official, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash official. That's expressvpn.com slash official to get yourself three free months. Mm-hmm. of watching pretty much whatever you want. They've got to have what you want somewhere in the world. So check it out. <laughs> Reading the 5G, I went back through the rabbit hole. So on YouTube, if you look up anything 5G related, it's overwhelmingly people that are saying how bad it is for you and everything. It's just so sad. And half of these people, not half, I've already seen like 10 of these people with the Facebook or the profile picture of a Confederate flag. So... That, that seems to be like the well, majority of people go. that believe this kind of shit. But then there's mm. also like this 19 year old Casey Bars who's saying how dangerous upgrading technology is. Ugh. It's fucking idiots, man. What do you mean upgrading? Everyone's afraid of upgrading technology. 4G is good enough. 5G is just going to kill us all. It has never been tested ever. <laughs> yeah, except really Wuhan. pathetic stuff. <laughs> This kind of shit just makes me angry. It's not even like the novel or the goofiness of it. It's just upsetting. Mm. Why? What do you mean why? Because they're actively ruining upgrades that are extremely helpful, like 5G. 5G does a lot more than just make internet faster, especially when it comes to information between nations. It makes a lot more things readily available. Now they've burned seven towers and are actively lobbying against it to like reduce us back to 4G for some reason. Yeah, but they're not going to be effective. They're not going to change the course of technology yeah. at all. What's more concerning to me is when they actually have an effect on people's health, like va- anti-vaxxers. That's way more. Oh, impactful. anti-vaxxers is still yeah far and away the the worst one. Yeah, no doubt. I still really would like to know if those guys have come to their senses yet and if they're at least questioning it's like hmm 
I guess a vaccine could come, kind of come in handy right now. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. How are anti-vaxxers handling the fact that we're really pushing for a coronavirus vaccine? Oh, I bet they hate it, some of them at least, now that you put it that way. I imagine they're just holed up in their Facebook echo chambers going, Oh, why are we even doing this? I get the flu every year. What's the big deal? Really, all our government's money is going to a vaccine program now? They must be God, mad. What despicable fucking people. I mean, imagine to you them. You think they pay taxes? They ima Remember, to them, they think of vaccines the same way we think about this 5G conspiracy nonsense. They think it's as insane for the government to be researching a vaccine and helping companies do it as, you know, we would think it insane to research anti-5G technology cloaking sh uh, shields or something. To them, it's insane. And the one thing all of these people unanimously always parrot is that apparently we've never seen a virus or something. That's always the one line they use is, if you go on you Google and you type in virus, you, you never get a real photo. It's always a 3D render. <laughs> <laughs> what do they expect? To be shrunk down like the magic school bus? It's always what they say. It's always what all of them say. At some point, they always say, we don't really have a an image of the virus, of viruses in general, because maybe they don't exist, her, her, her. But then when you, you know, they do the same thing with Earth, remember? Oh, no one's ever actually seen Earth from space. And when you go, yeah, do we have, he's a photo. Oh, that looks like a 3D render. Okay, then you, your nonsense is unfalsifiable. People do that with Jesus and God. People do it with everything. Yeah, how come that works? No one's ever seen a photo of God, yet you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah, but Kenneth Copeland told me about it, bro. He's infallible. That man has like the wind of God on his side. He's crazy. He wouldn't lie. Mm. <laughs> It's, but that's what I mean, though. The viruses and shit aren't rational to them because they don't have the capacity to understand what viruses are and what viruses do. They have the capacity. They choose or, not or, to. No, I don't. I don't believe they have the capacity to understand what five G is. No, Jackson. These fucking dropouts. They just want to feel like they're <laughs> in on something big. Like they're. Yeah. They want to feel like they're not. I don't dumb. think we should look down on them per se. Is Why? Just what I'm saying. I well, think the, we should educate. You can't educate them, Jackson. So you're saying they don't have the capacity? Well, I'm saying they're choosing not to. They, they're choosing never to accept truth because they want to believe they're smarter than everyone around them. They like or maybe to they're pushed into that lifestyle by, peop by people like you that kind of like criminalize or, or make well, fun of Well, anti-vaxxing so should be a crime. And lighting well, yeah, 5G towers that, yeah. on fire is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Jackson. I am. I'm well, just playing devil's is, advocate here. There's, uh, I don't know if crime is the right word, but, you know, taking some towers is a good thing. And when it's stuff like, you know, when during the Hong Kong protests, people were cutting down uh, towers that had facial recognition camera softwares uh, and yeah. such to track people. That's a good thing. Yeah. Fuck that. But this. And red light cams. Those can get cut down as well. Fuck those. <laughs> fuck those extra hard. Uh, yeah. So 5G, man. Kills you. I'm telling you. Someone's gonna yes, clip uh, that. <laughs> Make us out to be assholes. <laughs> We're just not sure yet because we don't have photographic proof of the 5G waves or anything like that. Yeah, that's true. You so can't we... see 5G airwaves, so maybe they're onto something. You think if we uh, if we showed them a photo of a 5G uh, waveform holding a gun, they'd, they'd more strongly <laughs> believe that they're dangerous? <laughs> yeah, these uh, are the molecules so of 5G. So you guns can't... On them. <laughs> they're wearing bandanas Get a little photoshopped assault rifles on the yeah. waves in the air. So that's the thing. These are the millimeter waves. Some things you can't see, but you can see their effects. So you cannot see the wind, right? Do they just think leaves like dancing on their own or just... When they feel a gust of wind on their skin, what do they believe that is? Does an invisible ghost push them? Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, God's wind. That's right. I mean, yeah. I, I just don't understand. I, I it's it's hard to really comprehend how many of these people are out there because we don't necessarily interact with them on a day to day basis. But then all of these uh, like these controversies or opinions come out 
through social media. So maybe they're right. Technology is bad because it's giving it a breeding ground for these kinds of of things to exist in. Yeah, technology is still great. Technology isn't inherently bad. It's just what we do with it and use with it that makes it good or bad. There certainly is a lot of downsides to something like Twitter, though. Like, there's entire communities of people trying to lobby for pedophilia to be an accepted sexuality and shit like that, and, uh, like, bestiality. So these communities Mm -hmm. that would never, ever congregate or have some kind of movement do because of Twitter. So there are downsides to something like Twitter. Let's not totally throw Twitter explicitly under the bus. It is Twitter, though. But here's the thing. Any social media platform can do the exact same thing. They could congregate on yeah. Facebook. They could congregate They don't, on, though. It's Twitter. But, the, but they could, as far is what as you I'm know. saying. It, yeah. It's not just Twitter that's causing this problem. Like, I, I wouldn't blame Twitter for those people doing that. You know what I mean? Wow. I mean, I, I really think when you're that's going go around talking about fucking kids and yeah. saying fucking kids should be legal, that I think that should be bannable. It just makes it easier but for it's them. Not it's not that they've Twitter. never existed before. I mean, Nambla was around decades before that sort of stuff. I exactly. mean, we just used to call I them mean, pedophiles. Think, now uh, they just, they rebranded, called themselves MAPs, and now they have like 17 shows on fucking Netflix greenlit and in the pipes. I mean, I mean, think about it this way. Think how many Discord servers there are that have probably hundreds of these people that you just don't even see or hear Grooming. about. Kids, it's the same the, thing. The, the fucking Discord <laughs> HQ has those people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a stereotype about Discord, isn't it? That, that just there are a bunch of grooming servers for kids to go on if yeah, they just. It's scary. Oh, you're questioning your sexuality. You're 13 and depressed. Well, you know, might be that you're, you know, may, maybe you need a mentor, huh? I can teach you to not be depressed about it, little boy. Fucking creeps. And yeah, those people should be shut the fuck down. But instead, they have their own shows because everyone can afford a $20 Lipsyn subscription. A what? Yeah, what? One of the po- the biggest podcasting host, I think, on the planet is... Oh, right. So wait, you're calling him a pedophile? Lipsyn. I'm confused. No, I'm saying any pedophile no, can afford the 20 is- bucks. So oh, it's easier oh. today than like 50 years ago where Nambla had to put out their own magazine. <laughs> they had their own magazine <laughs> I think so yeah pretty sure that's fucking wild yeah but that see what that's not st- what did Nambla stand for again North, North American boy love? man oh, boy yeah. love association yeah, man boy love association they've always just rebranded man they you know they called uh, they really don't like getting called pedophile so then they used ma- man boy lover boy lover yeah I think that's what they say and now it's just minor attracted persons it's the same shit you're just reheating the name. You're just changing the name every once in a while. So people like us have to readjust and go, what, wait, what are you calling yourselves now? Oh, but you're still pedophiles? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now we're letting those people out so they can molest more children out of prison because Corona. Because somehow them fucking kids and killing people is more desirable than them dying in prison. I wish they would just, the way they should have done this, instead of leaving it up to a random fucking algorithm, is just release the non-violent drug charges. That's like half the fucking prison system these days. Just release the people that were doing weed once. Yeah. That I would support. So, do they have to go, do they have to go back after the uh, <laughs> pandemic has ended? They're on yeah, the they other side. Nice yeah, Take they're on the other side. Can you just come back? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I assume they would arrest them. Will you please back. will no. you please come back and serve the rest of your sentence? Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> can you, can you put someone else in your place? Be like, hey man, I can't go back. Can you just do the last like two years for me, please? So this is a permanent kind of release. From what for I read, it's just them. a full on release, yeah. Yeah, I mean, wow. why the fuck should a murderer oh, go no. back? That's that's kind of the thing about hardened criminals. It's in the name. They don't really care about the law or being asked nicely to go back to prison instead of kill them. Hmm. Well, yeah, dep- I mean, rehabilitation is a thing, probably not with a hardened murderer, as you just said, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty good deal if they're getting let out for, and, and then they don't have to serve any kind of, you know, like community, community beneficial thing or rehabilitation. They just get let out and then they don't have to come back. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I think you're wrong. That's not a good deal. Do you know what is a good deal, Jackson? What? What's a good deal? Blueapron.com. Blank. Go there. 
and learn how to cook inside. You know, just with everybody locked up inside now anyway, you don't want to be going to the grocery store. I was at the grocery store just two days ago. They have lines now to get into it. They they hired a bouncer, you guys. My grocery store now has a fucking bouncer <laughs> telling me that I have to wait in line. And I guess, I don't know if they have a dress code yet. Maybe I'm not hot enough to get in to meet all the hot singles in the grocery store. But if you don't want to deal with that, but you still want to be able to eat, you can just simply go to blueapron.com and sign up for their delicious meal services delivered straight to your door. All the ingredients with a nice recipe that you can guarantee you're going to be able to cook it. You don't have to be a master chef, but it's a nice way of learning. They send you the building blocks. They send you the recipe. It's a nice, fun way to learn how to cook. So by the time you can get out of quarantine and, you know, meet some new people, maybe go on a date. It's a nice skill to have. It's an asset, in my opinion, for you. Um, it, you know, 85% of their packaging is recyclable. 41% of their packaging materials are made from recycled content. So environmentally friendly. Um, prices start as low as seven forty nine dollars per serving, which is much cheaper than some of the stuff you, uh, if you could still even eat out, which you can't. What else we got here? This is weird. I'm not used to not saying our name. Uh, Andrew, assist. Yeah. So if you are using Blue Apron, you can choose from a variety of chef design, ready to cook meals with perfectly proportioned ingredients and lots of flavorful options all sent to your door. We are currently in a very radical time in America where if you try to go to a restaurant, which is, of course, the national American pastime, you'll be told, nope, you can't stay here. We'll give you your food. You can take it. Maybe we'll even bring it to you, but you can't stay here. So why would you not start a meal subscription service like Blue Apron when you're not going to be eating anything else anyway? You're going to be taking all of your food out or to go. So why not start cooking? Cut out the middleman. Save yourself some money. Save yourself yeah. a trip to the store where a lot of paranoid people are very worried about getting sick or it's a big hassle. Or like Kaya said, you can't even get in half the time. Now is the best time in history to start Blue Apron. Any night you get to cook and spend quality time enjoying a great meal is a night well spent, but their premium recipes are going to take it a step further. If you're stuck in the house with your closest relatives, or maybe you're stuck by yourself, depending on your circumstances, mm. cooking is a great way to relieve stress, have a hobby, find something you might enjoy doing, and Blue Apron makes that simple. You can find comfort in your kitchen with Blue Apron and enjoy delicious home-cooked meals if you check out their week's this week's menu by visiting blueapron.com that's blueapron.com blue apron feed your soul boys if i were to go on this current week right now to blueapron.com i would see a nice fettuccine pasta with mushrooms and a chili tomato sauce yummy yeah i would see a russ l hanout steak with roasted vegetables and crispy saffron potatoes Hmm, I don't know. That's what I would choose. I'm feeling like the pork chorizo tacos. I actually do want some tacos look really now. Good, actually. Yeah, I want tacos too. Mm, yeah. yeah. All right. But now is now is the best time to try Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Give it a shot. Thanks, Blue Apron. We love you, Blue Apron. All right. So what's next? Dude, I have no fucking idea. I know some viewers might not be happy too happy about it, but we're having such a drought of topics, man. Maybe you guys should feel free to leave us some topics in the in our subreddit or on Twitter. But yeah, we want to uh, preface. Dedicatedly, yeah, we want to preface that. I mean, we're all under quarantine ourselves. We're all pretty much staying at home for the most part. So in terms of topics, we have internet drama, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're sorry if uh, this episode may be not the most high-flying, action-packed episode, but we're working with what we have. I did see something interesting. I don't like internet drama. I don't want to yeah. talk about internet drama. But what <laughs> I do like is real-life drama. Mm. And before the show started, I saw that the, the actor behind The Flash, Ezra Miller, uh, this is breaking news within the last six hours. He has been filmed <laughs> choke slamming a female fan into the ground. And 
when I re- first read the when I first read the um the headline where it said Ezra Miller caught choke slamming a, a female fan, I was like, oh, alright, it's just some you know some kind of fake outrage or something. No, he genuinely <laughs> he genuinely grabs her by the throat <laughs> and slams her into the ground. You have it's s- an actual. What? I was going to say, you, you're really selling this hard. It, it looks like play fighting. It really does. It does not. It, it, oh, he no. very, very slowly lowers her onto the thing from the video I saw. Unless that video what? was in slow motion. It wasn't like a choke slam. It was like a choke I had only seen it once, guidance. but it looked like he did throw no, onto the floor. No, Charlie, that's it, a it person even, falling it over. It doesn't have to be fast. I mean, that can still happen slow. But even all the people filming suddenly end filming. They're like, bro, bro, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so clearly oh, they yeah, were yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ezra Miller, he's the one who plays like in the DC movies The Flash, where it's just a shitty Sheldon ripoff. Not that Sheldon himself yeah. isn't uh, shitty to begin with. He plays with, the worst version of The Flash. Yeah, the awkward, it, it's awkward in the nerd. Movie. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, so he he's he grabs her by the throat. I, I can't say if it, he grabbed her like tightly or anything and then he pushes her to the floor is that accurate enough charlie mm, it's not the floor it's like a pad it's a pad yeah she falls what? onto like a pad or at least it looks like a pad it might be snow on the floor i'm not sure but it looks like it's a pad well it looks like he slams her onto a concrete uh, step to me <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> like i said it could be covered in snow but it looks like it's a little pad <laughs> like those taekwondo pads I don't oh, really I but anyway, what I wanted to ask was, is this going to ruin his career? No. Well, if he actually did choke Slammer and it wasn't playing around, yeah. The problem is he's still going to get detractors regardless. There's probably plenty of people already saying, you know, it. I don't care if they're saying it was fake or playful or whatever. It happened and he did it and that's it. He's canceled. I didn't even watch the video, but fuck him. That's what they do. Yeah. I'm I mean, think how many people with... Uh, go ahead. No, it's, uh, I was just trying to see if she's made any statements to hear it from out of her mouth, but I guess not. Well, she's got a broken windpipe. How's she going to talk? <laughs> she's brain damaged. <laughs> she's in a coma. <laughs> no, I don't think his, his career was suffering. And Michael Jackson literally fucked kids and it just... He was still the most famous person on the planet. Is that proof? He care. was never on camera fucking kids, though. This is on camera with him <laughs> choke slamming. And if he was, it was on uh, snow covered floor. Or it whatever, was on Charlie Twitter. Said. If it was, well, if he is on video, Epstein had that and now he's dead. So, a lucky him. Uh, so wait, has the public opinion gone back on Michael Jackson? Is he? I don't is know. He, um, it never, guilty? it never left him. There were detractors, but he's always been vast majority of people saying, "Oh, he's great, and I love him." He, he might be a little weird and eccentric, but hey, he's Michael Jackson. Yeah, there's being weird and eccentric, and then there's you know inviting children to sleep over in your room, and just somehow always picking them up in a limousine and making your way into their lives. Paying their parents to let those boys go on vacation with you. Mm. That's not weird and eccentric. That's really fucking weird. And really eccentric. Yeah, but he had really <laughs> popular songs. That's true. <laughs> and he knew how to dance good. Yeah, case closed. Yeah, he could dance real well. He could dance real good. Oh, I guess he gets fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your words, not mine. Wait, what? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> he did what? <laughs> I haven't heard of this. What has happened to R. Kelly? Is he in jail now? I don't know. That's a good question. Isn't he uh, on jail? In jail for tech shit now? No. I'll look. I'll look. Well, maybe that too. But he definitely—he actually was on camera, and on camera, apparently, he you know basically admitted to his crime by calling the girl 14 years old all the throughout as he's fucking her and pissing on her, whatever he did. I don't... Wait, what? I thought that was Austin Jones. No, it was different. No. That was clap your butthole. No, no. R. Kelly did this too. He apparently mentions her age like 18 times throughout the video. Yeah, we talked about that, Jackson. What do you... What, what, yeah. yeah, we've already talked about that. Oh, I knew he I knew he pissed on a girl or something. I didn't know she, he made her say her age. You're thinking of like two separate events. It wasn't like the girl he pissed on, he made her say I'm 14 and getting pissed on. 
Oh, that's not the same girl? No, no Jackson, probably... he's done the, done a lot of that kind of shit. <laughs> oh. He diversified. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Why is that a shame? Well, it's just a it's just a <laughs> genuine like general shame that that this guy has gone away with this for so oh, long. Well, I guess. Yeah, I, I thought know. you meant like it's a shame that R. Kelly uh, it was facing these consequences. <laughs> uh, no, I, I assume that he should have, you know, uh, been charged with that as soon as it kind of happened. If he was making her say her age as well, what happened? How does he get away with that? Well, I assume she didn't uh, immediately sue him afterwards, probably. Yeah. No idea. Well, then, is yeah. there, like, a statute of limitations or something? Has he just been biding his time? No, I he don't think there's a statute. <laughs> no, I don't know. As soon as the statute of, li- statute of limitations passes, he does come in and says, yes, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> she was 12. Ugh. Yeah. Damn it, man. Did you guys hear about the cooking mama drama? If you want to start going for other kinds of drama things going on. Anything else, please. God damn it. Cooking, the new cooking mama is apparently hiding Bitcoin miners in the game. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, allegedly, according to Reddit, so definitely take that with a grain of salt. They found, Uh, like, some questionable blockchain miners embedded in the cooking mama files after they data mined it. Mm. Wait, wouldn't it be on Nintendo Switch? That's yeah. why I said, how the fuck would it even wow. be mining bitcoins from so, the Switch? No, that's but, not very powerful. Well, the, so Nintendo doesn't actually look that closely at what apps they greenlight. You can still program whatever the hell you want on the Switch, and if it looks like a game and plays like a game, you can definitely hide some code in it to say contact the internet yeah, and but do I run assume, stuff. And people, the way I wouldn't assume the Nintendo Switch would be powerful enough for that kind of it stuff. It isn't. That's the point. So Perfect apparently, money. people got suspicious because their Nintendo Switches were overheating. <laughs> uh, wow, that's insane! Fucking Cooking Mama of all games. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, like mama. that's that's not even like a no nothing I indie title. That's that a bitch. series that's been around for a while. I fucking love the original ones. Oh my god. Time. That's the one where they would have the really, really thick Japanese accent for everything you did. Do you guys remember that? I, I yeah. never played it actually. There was one where it was like like co- like not cooking mama but baby mama or something, which that's funny when I say it out loud. It was uh cooking mama, but you took care of babies. <laughs> And it had a peripheral where it had a little stuffed baby and you would put a Wiimote in it. And if you ever moved it too quickly, you'd get like this most racist, hard accented Japanese voice saying, don't shake the baby. That's the only thing I remember about Cooking Mama. Mm. Um, so it's not like it's no. a it's an out of the blue nowhere franchise. Yeah, well, apparently they're denying it saying... Via yeah. reverse engineering, Tesman found that there is no crypto mining code in the game. However, battery does drain fast due to shoddy removal of said code. So what? It, it was in so there? So it was a fucking hit piece on Cooking Mama. Does the internet have no shame? <laughs> <laughs> That's Twitter for you. Thanks iPhone. a lot. Yeah, trying to cancel Cooking Mama. The way you say mama yeah. is really weird. Fuck? Jesus. What is say mama? that again. Wait, mama? Mama? No, it's mama? Say, say the whole thing. Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama. Oh, you're changing the way you said it yeah. now. <laughs> you said, yeah, you, you, am I? You said it it like sounds like mama. you say, uh, you say yeah. yeah, Mama Mummy. instead of Mama. Cooking Mama, mama is well, what you wait, say. Wait, 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 wait. No, what? you said it, like, you said it say like a stubborn kid who was waiting for his mom's tit to come out and he was perturbed, <laughs> you know. More Mama tit. Cooking Mama. <laughs> mama. Mama? Mama. Mama? Yeah, he said it like a baby boy who was hungry. <laughs> Well, that's what mama is anyway. It's so you just did it again. You say mama boy. instead of mama. M- mama. Mama. Uh, <laughs> mama? What? <laughs> just, <laughs> just be casual again. Jackson, Holy you just... shit, we are okay. so out of topic. J- Jackson, we... <laughs> give, give me a sentence. Okay, give me we, a sentence. I'll, I'll paint a picture for you. I'll give you the scene and you come in and act it. You just found okay. out there's a Bitcoin miner on your Nintendo Switch version of Cooking Mama Cookstar. I can't believe they put a bitcoining, bit mining app on my uh, cooking mama. <laughs> you changed it. Damn it. You had one line I, and I you flubbed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play cooking mama. Yeah, you look. You switched it. That's not how you first said it. Well, can we go back and 
<laughs> can we can we take it back? I want to hear. Yeah, can we get a replay? <laughs> Yeah. Not live. Well, we could, but I don't wanna. If this was Kenneth Copeland's presentation, he would have that functionality. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't have an army. <laughs> an army of choir boys <laughs> at our demand. <laughs> at our command, sorry. Cooking mama. Okay, how about this? Next week, each one of us bring three top uh each one of us bring one topic, homework, unrelated to the virus. That we can talk about. It's impossible, dude. It's not impossible. I have so many short stories. That's easy for me. Oh, read yeah. one of your oh, stories, yeah. Charlie. I forgot nah. about your oh, stories. Fuck you. You've been holding on to it. Too late. It's already been an hour. Uh, I'll keep you guys wanting more for next week. You're short, Bullshit, though. Bullshit. Read a story. Yeah, read well, the story. Yeah, read us. I've already read all the short ones. We could all be dead from 5G radiation poisoning by next week. There's, I don't want to die without hearing a story. There's not many like short ones I have left. The other ones are quite a few pages. Well, that's good. Yeah, quite Ooh. a few pages in 72-point font. I think we're fine. <laughs> well, well, no. There's the new comic sense. Like that. Uh, well, I don't know what this is. I never, never mind, I found another one-chapter anomaly. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I think it's Halo fanfic. So this is... Oh, fuck yeah. This is chapter one. In the year 3000, there will be a planet 57 million light-years away from Sedna. It will be a giant ring-shaped planet called Alienus. There will be 900 <laughs> billion aliens. Alien anus? What? Yeah. Alienus. Yeah, I guess alien anus a bit, yeah. There will be 900 aliens. billion aliens. Some are called- That's way too many. Some are called jackals, others called hunters, more are called grunts, Wait, Even this doesn't sound like alienus at all. This is just Halo. <laughs> this sounds this like a world Halo. I'm familiar with. Well, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I might have just copy and pasted. And these aliens will have technology. Their weapons are needlers. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Rocket launchers, plasma pistols, shotguns, plasma guns, saber swords, power blasters, assault rifles. Saber swords. You're, all you your weapons are just weapons gun gun. There. <laughs> yeah. It's like shooting guns, <laughs> guns with bullets, guns of metal. <laughs> you even blasters. gave them the human weapons. <laughs> yeah, saber yeah, swords. They're now. <laughs> and their plan is to blow up the galaxy with a deadly weapon called Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would they do ah, that? There we go. <laughs> There's the name drop. The aliens have many assault vehicles like the Banshees, Gun <laughs> Turtle, and the Ghost. <laughs> Wait, what? Gun the Gun Turtle? Yeah, I don't know what a Gun Turtle is. Turret? I think you meant gun turret. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a vehicle. Neither gun is a turtle, is it? <laughs> it's my alien nation. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, th alienist. this. You guys are getting ahead of yourselves. This isn't Halo. It's not the Covenant. It's oh. alienist. Yeah, it's alienist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. alienist. Yeah. And the Covenant. Yeah. But the humans <laughs> do have a resistance called the UNSC Marines. <laughs> All right, well why in the why in the fuck the would we give a shit about an alien race fifty seven million light years away? Because there because there's nine hundred billion of them, and they're trying to blow up the galaxy with the turtles. So you're not with the saber attention. swords and they're gun turtles. Incredibly overcrowded on alienists. <laughs> Only Master Chef right. can stop him. <laughs> they will have the same weapons as the aliens, just two different gun: the sniper rifle and the pistol. Uh, Our technology is superior. <laughs> <laughs> Their captain's name is Keys, so the Marines' plan was to stop the aliens <laughs> from using Halo. <laughs> Charlie, how old were you when Halo came out? Like seven? Uh, yeah, two thousand one. I would have been seven. Yeah, this all lines up. Yeah, mm. Master Keys. Uh, I that's like the that. end of chapter one. <laughs> all right, <laughs> sounds more like a serious Sam game. Yeah. Not bad though, pretty good writing I'd say. A lot of I weapons, a lot of aliens. I want to see. It wasn't a story. Was yeah, that was that unrelated? It wasn't a story. It was just a brief description. Was that yeah, unrelated it's a or a it sets up the scene. So this had nothing to do with. Is it? Is this taking place in the Noodle Man universe? No. So I no? guess I wrote okay. like so many like different things, but Ooh. my core was still Moon Ninja and Nutty Noodle Man. Okay. The. I think for the next episode I'll break out a Moon Ninja or uh, a Nutty Noodle Man. The Daiki like one of the Baby long ones. Charlie Extended Universe. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that because I know Nutty Noodle Man versus the Army of Armadillos has four chapters. I saw that. <laughs> All right. Make well, it a whole epic. That's a good tease for next week, then. Um, 
Yeah. If yeah, anyone we'll is forward to that next week. still thirsting for some fanfic, our website is now up. Uh, you can go to official.men. And we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash the official podcast, where you can please support us so we can mm-hmm. banish once and for all COVID-19 from Earth with your power and your nice. money. So one day we can and afford a private jet. God. Mm-hmm. When did you start this website? What the fuck? April 1st. It's only been under development for three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just a fanfic right now. Enjoy. We can read that on the next bonus if you like. That might not be yeah. too bad. Oh, I see there's a, already a hard F, like F word slur <laughs> immediately in the first paragraph. <laughs> Are you going to be one of those people who calls it a slur now? Oh, I don't know. I just don't want to say it. Faggot. Alrighty. Bye. <laughs> see you next week, everyone. Bye. Everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>